In this video, I'm looking at WayDroid on Plasma Mobile running on a OnePlus 6T. So here I have WayDroid installed and you can see the Android applications in the app drawer. On first boot, it will take a few seconds, but after the container session has started, it opens quite quickly. As you've just seen, WayDroid is running a modified version of Lineage OS and it's running Android version 11. Here we can see Wi-Fi is connected on Plasma Mobile and although it doesn't show in Android as connected, the Wi-Fi connection passes through. So you can see here the internet is accessible and you are able to browse. Here I'm downloading F-Droid for later installation. So looking at settings, we can go in and see if we press about, it is running Android version 11. If there are any WayDroid updates, we can do it directly from within WayDroid using the updater. Now to install apps, you would install them as you would regularly in any Lineage OS system. So by default, there are no Google apps installed and you will have to install an app store to get some apps. Here I've installed F-Droid and I can use F-Droid to install Aurora Store. This will give me access to any apps that are available in the Play Store. So following through, this is how you would set up Aurora Store, granting it the permissions necessary to install additional Android apps. Aurora Store does not require a Google login to function. You can simply use the anonymous mode and you should be able to find the apps you want to install. Here I'm downloading Discord as an example app for installation and functionality in WayDroid. So once logged in to Discord, I can test it out by sending myself a message from another account and you can see that the notifications do work as long as you are in the application. Another thing about WayDroid running on a GNU slash Linux system is you can access it from the terminal. 
So running this command, WayDroid app list will list all the installed apps available in WayDroid. You can also launch apps from the terminal by typing WayDroid app launch and then the package name, which you can find in the list. So here I'm opening Discord. So in the state it is now, unfortunately, the notifications do not pass through from WayDroid to Plasma Mobile, but it is an option that will allow you to run Android applications on these custom GNU slash Linux operating systems. So there's my first look. If you want to know how to install it, it's fairly easy on the OnePlus 6T. It does not require any kernel modifications. Stay tuned, I'll post a video on the installation process. It's fairly straightforward, but there are a few tweaks necessary. If you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, and if you enjoyed this and haven't already, please subscribe.